Hamana, hamana. I'm good here. Can you hear us? Do you want to do a, 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 a take and then just see if you recorded well us? Well, let's go through the first part. Okay. <coughs> Maybe Wonderful. just we all go there. <coughs> yeah. so much yeah. yeah. Yuff, yuff, Do you want yuff. me to put the stoplight <coughs> on? Will it help, or is this okay? No, it's fine. Looks cool. Okay. Right. So. So I, I I keep on wanting to look there, but I must look here. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, because we only okay. two cameras working. I don't know why the other one's working. Today. Okay. <laughs> Hello, I'm Colle Van Day. And this is Craig Jack Lewis. Hi, everybody. Welcome to our course. Anybody can learn how to play guitar. It is just a couple of simple rules. And if you stick within those frameworks, then anybody can learn how to play. Really? Anybody? anybody <laughs> and I mean anybody. <laughs> Kulay and I have been working together on a rock set show. We also work on original music. And she said to me, can I play guitar on stage? <laughs> <laughs> so Craig decided he's going to teach me some easier moves on how to learn guitar quicker. So today I'm ready to learn um, because I know to learn to be a guitarist it takes years of practice. It's not just like you pick it up and you play. But because Craig has been playing for so many years he has worked out a few tricks and I'm lucky enough to learn them today and so are you. So what we hope to be able to do uh, with this course is enable you to start playing as quickly as possible. All the courses are available in modules and if you follow the modules from step one to I think it's about step 40 by the time we're finished, you should be a proficient guitar player. So getting started, <laughs> a lot of people think, well, you know, and I see them, they sit like this with the guitar or it's all over the place. Very easy. If you cross your legs, quite simple. This part of the guitar here, as you can see, is actually designed to fit over your leg here. Can you see it fits in snug? Mm. Now, once that happens, you can put your arm at the back, just behind the little crook there, and rest it. Okay. There. Now, can you see now how you can now, you can actually let go with that hand. And the whole guitar is sitting comfortably. And I can look like I know what I'm doing. I feel like a professional guitarist taking a break. Well, she looks like one. That's, <laughs> that's what we do. <laughs> okay, but I honestly, in as with this exercise, it is quite important. It might sound trivial, but I see so many people, they land up playing like this, which, as you can see, puts you entirely in the wrong sort of position, unless you're a guitarist who likes to work like this. So once that is up straight, then it's quite simple to bring your hand around. What's very important is a lot of people try and play like this, with their arms right up. If you, dro if you, drop, if you drop your arm completely, there you go, and now you find that you are, can you see now? So you're not in this position, you're actually down here. Okay. Can you see how that automatically, does that feel comfortable? It feels so like you can... Are you saying that the one shoulder should be a bit more down, or is yes. it just the relaxed position? It's the relaxed position. Okay. I find that with this shoulder, if you just let it hang, pick it up and put it back on, then you're saved from all of these oh. issues. So some people might be doing this, yes. some people might be doing that, yeah. but it's not that, it's just a relaxed feel. That's so right. you drop the shoulder. Okay. All right, got it. Good, huh? <laughs> all right, are we all ready to play? <laughs> I think the first thing we need to do is you have to tune the guitar. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> now, I could go through the long way and teach you how to do it as in... and tune it that way, but these days it's very easy. You go to the internet, you get an app called Guitar Tuner, T-U-N-A. And it's actually that easy as you pluck your string and it'll tell you whether your string is high enough or low enough. So okay. we are saved by technology, which helps a lot. But we are going to have to learn the names of the strings. W I mean, you've got to know what are the names of all the different strings. Okay. So we came up with a little formula for that. Eat a delicious gherkin before Easter. Oh, wow. That sounds cool. I'm glad you said gherkin because I am vegan. Vegan. So <laughs> it has to be something... Some of us say goat, but we're not going to do that now. <laughs> it has to be something that I can remember. So it's eat, eat a, a delicious, delicious gherkin, gherkin 
before, before Easter. Easter. Eat a delicious gherkin before Easter. And there you go. Say it after us. Eat a delicious gherkin before Easter. E A D G B E. Now you can make okay. up your own if you like to, but I always remember that one. I think it's quite fun. Mm. So now we know the names of the strings. E, A, D, delicious string, the gherkin string, the before string, and the Easter string. Okay. So tuning your guitar really shouldn't be too much of a problem at all. Right. Now, should we, should we actually start playing? Because we're going to run this thing very, very quickly. Yes. Uh, you can just maybe put a little clip in how you are tuning the guitar. We'll do um, that. We can do that. Okay. Yeah, let's start playing. I want to learn to play quickly, Craig. Is that possible? It's very, very possible. Now, do you remember what I said about the guitar position? Straight away, a lot of you will start doing this. Okay. That is quite important to make sure that this stays stable. Okay, we'll work through it. Now, when you first pick up a guitar, nobody knows where, I mean, where do you start? What do you do? And everybody <laughs> wants to do this. Or that. <laughs> yeah, see? Now, I want you to try a little trick. Mm -hmm. Take your fingers like this. Just like this. Put them on the outside of the string. On, on those two, which is your eat Easter. So they both eat. And you pluck. There you go. Why do we sound so differently tuned? <laughs> <laughs> that is exactly why you have to have a professional tuning app. Ah. Because if your guitar is not tuned, no matter what you play, it's not going to sound good. So we're just going to get me back explain. to tuning this guitar and we'll be back with you in a sec. Let's check it. Um, actually, let's do it live. Yeah. Okay. It's a little app. It looks like this. It's called Guitar Tuner. See? Very, oh. very handy. And all you do... Like tuna, like fish. As in fish, yeah. Mm -hmm. Ah, see? And you try it. See, it gives you a nice little plunk. Correct. Ah, that's my. <laughs> so it's his guitar, not mine. Ah, my, my <laughs> delicious string. And a plum. You're good. Oh. Yours. Jolly good. Ah. A little bit out of tune, my last Flip. E. So do we call this the bottom E or top E? Oh, that's e the bottom E and the top E. You've so got a thick one and a thin e one, the yeah. The top e. Okay, pluck it for me one more time. Let's have a listen. There you go, and that's what it looks like. So play each string and you'll see it'll pick it up. See, it's very clever. That's your E string. See? Lovely little machine. You must get that. Go to your Play Store and you can get it from there. Right, our guitars are tuned. So, Great. as I said, now, what we're going to do is we're going to take our two fingers on the outside, like that, mm -hmm. and we're going to pluck. Ha! See, now we're playing already. See how quickly it can be. <laughs> right. One, two, three in. This one here. Now, what I'm going to teach you to do is play a whole series of melodies, but they'll all only be on the string. This is the only string you're going to be pushing. So don't worry about any of the others. Okay. Let's go the third one in. Can I actually, because I can't see now, well, must I be turning my head? Or should I? Ah, you say you that's see. not a good idea. That's not the good idea. Do you see automatically Bad. how your shoulders now go yes. up? As I said, to you, I get a lot of people sitting down. like okay. it. You can put your okay. leg down. I find that you just. Okay. Then I sort mm -hmm. of sit forward a little bit more, but then it sits nice and straight because okay. the last thing you want is your guitar. Then I just got to lean my head forward in order to see yeah. because I can have to look for it. Try and drop your shoulder. Ah. 
Mm-hmm. Ah, then you should be able to see a lot better. Okay. So we're going one, two, three in. One, two, two three. Okay. Right. We're going to our third one. Now, pluck on the outside and take it off and put it back on. Make it sound like a police car. Now, if Kulaya can do this, she doesn't play any guitar at all. You see? See how quickly we're going to learn this. I'm excited. Is that fun? <laughs> it is quite fun. And I can see that my fingers um, are going to have to harden to learn, you know, to, to press the strings and not get sore fingers. <laughs> it also depends on which kind of guitar you're going to buy. I mean, I do a lot of shows where I use a lot of acoustic sound, so I need the thickest possible strings. Um, because I often don't use the backing tracks and things like that. So I is need a lot a metal, of sound. Uh, is that a metal string or nylon? It's a steel string, a oh. metal string, yeah. Okay. Now, Cole has got a nylon string guitar, and as you can see, it's got strats across the middle. Okay? Mine have the pegs. Now, this one is a nylon string guitar, and this one is a steel string. Now, the reason being, please don't go and try and put steel strings on a nylon guitar. Uh, these things are just not strong enough, and you'll crack your pegs uh, simply because there's so much more tension on one of these. On the nylon strings, you shouldn't really get too many problems with all the calluses and things. <laughs> so your fingers can still look pretty. Yes. Uh, but it's better to have short nails if you play guitar. It is a lot better to have short nails, indeed, yeah. So that'll work for me. <laughs> <coughs> All right, so, All right, so one, one, two, three. three. One. O- there we go. See, she's got it already. Be-ba, be-ba. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to bounce. So we've got this one, miss one, and go to your next one. So, for most of you, there'll be a dot on that, so that'll be your A, okay? This is the A, the first yeah. dot that we can One, see. Two, Would three, that always four, be the five. first dot? Yes, when you see your first dot here, that's, that's very handy as a reference, because I'm going to show you how to go up and down the neck. Uh, but that's a nice reference as to A, because you know that you've got E here, then you've got A, and then you've your top E up here. Wouldn't it be easier to <coughs> just write on here A and E, or is that like a no-no for guitarists? What about people who are learning? If do you, you suggest that they yeah. do any of that kind of thing? I wouldn't write the, the notes on there because this, this point is relevant for an A in this position, but oh. it's relevant for a C in another position. Oh, so ah. with guitaring, you really have to learn all of these things in your head. Now, this is my idea of fun, because that stuff took me years. I spent 10 years chopping wood trying to work this out. And that's why we've come up with this course that will enable you to learn really quickly. What we're going to do is we're going to do all the fun stuff first. Okay. I'm in and then we'll come back for all the boring stuff and the difficult things that might take you a while. But first, we want to make some decent noise. Okay, so the exercise here. We started with the police car. That's cool. Have you guys got that right? Now, what I said is we're going to change, eh? So there you go, it's collage on. Now go back. Great. Now let's take that space out from in between, because what you can actually get from all of this is Wow, but then you need to have the finger work going, so... Now do it You nice need to have practiced a lot, hey? That's it. Well so it's, it's not that it's difficult, it's th- just that it's a kind of instrument where you need to practice. Am I right? It is necessary to get the dexterity, mm. but what I say to a lot of my students as well, they get stuck with the strumming and things, which, which, which we'll, come, we'll come back to. But if you've got it inside your head, and you know how it goes in your head, then there is a way of disconnecting your brain completely from what this hand is doing. So what you are thinking will come out here. Heaven help us all. So it will, be, it will become automatic. That's um, the idea. 
Almost like when I'm singing. A lot of times I'm singing and I, yeah. I'm at the end of the song and I don't even realize how I did it. Yeah. And I think it's going to be the same with guitar, you say. Um, I think so. That's what we... This hand starts what we just automatically strumming. Automatically. And then you can just focus on the left hand. Yeah. Okay. Couple of techniques, couple of tricks, but mostly it's what's in your head that will come out automatically here. And otherwise, then you can break away from all of the, the rigmaroles of trying to get all of this right. So you have to have brains. <laughs> to play guitar. <laughs> well, I've come this far, <laughs> and I've got straw in my head. <laughs> well, let's see if we can do it. They say practice. Okay, <laughs> in slow motion. Okay, start on an open string. That's it. That's it. Yeah. That's it. Very good. Then should I use another finger? If possible. That's right. That's it. Okay, now let's do it one step at a time. After me. Do that one. What did you do? Just this one. Okay. Okay, third step. Uh, 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 leave the one, leave the open one. That's it. That's it. Oops. You don't have to just go back to Been there. You can <laughs> just finish up on there. So you get. It's all about little patterns and just being able to yeah. remember them. It's like dancing, actually. It's pretty, yeah. Guitar playing is a lot like dancing. Yeah. Guess. It's all about having a whole lot of different tricks and then sort of combining them all together and, and, and pulling a trick out when you feel like it. Or it's pattern. like singing, like performing, isn't it? It's like different patterns, yeah. you know, just learning these different little patterns yeah. and learning them in your brain and coordinating them with your hands. Because hmm. nobody wants to hear somebody go... <laughs> and uh, after four minutes, you've still got the same thing. <laughs> you I know. think it sounds <laughs> cool. <I'd> <laughs> <laughs> so we, we have lots of different tricks that we, we break up. Oh. Anyway, okay, so this is, a, this is something that you are actually going to use quite a lot. And it's the very first part of the course uh, where we concentrate on just using our fingers on the outsides. We'll come to the strumming a bit later. Okay, so this one, on, uh, off, on, off, on, off, on. Let me start again. <laughs> there you go. I think we've completed that part of the lesson. <laughs> Look at that. Well done. Give Thank me five, you. man. It's Give actually, me five. She's um, a quick learner. It's actually like mathematics, you know, where you just have little different patterns that you need to program That's and correct. learn. And yeah. once you know those, you can basically do a lot with those yes. little moves. Probably <laughs> like dancing, but don't ask me that. <laughs> All right, so now in this exercise, I'm going to teach you how to make a melody just on the string. And then we are going to use that same uh, system with different types of playing. And I'll show you how it goes. So what we've got now is off, on, off, on, off, on, off. But now watch, watch what happens here. See, now that I've explained, it wow. looks, it sounds <laughs> complicated, doesn't it, when I do it? Yes, it does. But it's, it's simply your, your police car. And all you're doing is playing it in different places. Yes. And you'll hear quite a quickly, if it's, the, if it's the wrong sound, you'll hear it, you know, as you go down. Okay. Watch here, if I go... Now, if I make a mistake, you can hear straight away that it's not right, you can't can you? You can hear it's, uh, it's off note. It's yeah, that almost like exactly off key, it. You know. <laughs> okay, so that's number one. That's what we call uh, hammer on and hammer off, basically. Um, on, off, on, off, on, off, on, off, on, off. Can we call it ambulance? 
<laughs> you can call it the ambulance exercise. Yeah, let's do that. That's cool. Okay. Without too much ado on that, we've managed to get past the first exercise. Now, that is for rock. Now we're going to move on to waltz. Oh, wow. I a didn't waltz. know one can play waltz with guitar. I always assumed it was just on a piano. Now, once again, I could go into all kinds of detail to say rock is based on 4-4 on four four and, wal and waltz is based on a 3, but we don't need to do that. What All you have to do is just listen. So on a waltz, we've got a 1-2-3. It's like dancing, if you're actually waltzing. You know, with your feet are going 1-2-3, one, 1-2-3, two, 1-2-3, one, two, one, two, one, two, So if you imagine yourself actually dancing, Try it, you know, one, two, three, one, two, three. That's how we're going to play it on the guitar here. Okay. So, we've already got the one, which is on the outside, huh? Now we've got these two on the inside. This this will be your uh, gherkin and your... Th these? Before. Okay. Yes, those mm. two. That's right. So we're going to do one pluck on the outside and two on the inside. Okay. Is it, let me just show the camera, just so one on the outside, and then we're going two on the inside. Let me just do one more time so everybody can see. One, two, three. Right, let me show Kule. Okay, show Here me. we go. One, two, three. Oh. One, two, three. Three. Sounds that's a bit it. different from yours, though. Ah, that's because when you pluck this string here, try and put more emphasis on this one. On the bottom one. Yeah. Try it again. There you go. No. Perfect. I, Look I at just that. wanted to say. She's faster. Even though guitar playing seems so fast and it looks so easy, it's actually very delicate. You have to know which uh, strings to put the emphasis on and which ones to handle lightly. You're just doing everything very fast, but it's very delicate. And um, yes, a lot That's of a very good point. <laughs> you know, even when you see bands like Guns N' Roses and Gary Moore and all of these guys, and they look like they're really hammering away on the guitar, they're actually not. It's a very... It's a very delicate action. As soon as you hit it too hard, it, the guitar doesn't like it. So you have to be gentle also to take care of your guitar. As yeah, well. be gentle everywhere, all the time, even with, especially with guitars. <laughs> okay, right. so we have the waltz. One, two, three, one, two, three. Lovely. Simple, hey? Now, those same positions that we used on this string here to make a melody mm -hmm. with the... You can fiddle with those positions, but you can start from your second one and okay. work your way up and you'll hear them yourself. Okay. And what sounds good and what doesn't. So, we start off one, two, three. Oh, we do those my guitar is That's it. Next one. That's that's good. Oh, does that sound right? Off. See, no. you'll hear it straight away, no. won't you? And eventually, your brain gets used to. Your brain will get used don't to. Don't go there. <laughs> <laughs> Bear in mind the double dot that you get here, that will be the octave of your E. And you've got it there. Oh. What is that? That is the octave. Can you hear that? Mm-hmm. So you won't really go much further than this. You know, so. Okay, let me give you an example okay, of what you can do with this. Um, Now watch her. See? Wow.
Pretty, huh? Mm, beautiful. Now I'm playing this with one finger. I just feel, you know, you must like, I'll edit this out, but you must totally face when you're doing this like that. So that I don't have to but be... But must I face this <laughs> way? Yes, yeah, just do it again like, you know, so that... Okay. Yeah, edit and all that. Because I'm not going to do that. <laughs> no. The idea is that it's you... Hard. But But it shows that you didn't know how to play something, and then you got it right. Quickly. I really the didn't know how to play. First <laughs> few exercises were quick, weren't they? Yes. All right. Just uh, for editing purposes, let me do uh, one example of the waltz, because yes. and then we can move on to the next lesson. That would be nice, so we can show that. Okay. This is how it goes. This is the waltz. One on the outside, two on the inside. And here you are. See? Now the melody I'm playing, you don't have to follow. It's a nice guideline. It's my guideline. So you can feel, you can actually feel. You can feel what you want to play. That's and it. Come up with your melodies. And using the octave. Does that make sense? <laughs> <laughs> you see, it's not rocket science. We just, we're not trying to put a man on the moon. All we're doing is, we're making music. And I really hope you guys are going to enjoy this and we're going to work forward with this. Right, one more exercise that goes... Al it's going to be easier to get to the moon than learning to play guitar because you have to if be... Kolei can play <laughs> this. I'm going to put her on stage and she will be playing guitar within the Thank next you. rock set show. You must come and join us for one of those. You have to be dedicated. You have to every day put aside time to focus on your guitar practice and be committed. That's one thing that's very important. Mm. The other thing, you can just keep it in your head until it drives you crazy and then you'll know how to do it anyway and you can just take a short way around. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's go on to the third exercise before we start moving on to rock and roll and things like that. Now, we've done the one, two, three, which is the waltz. Now, what we're going to do now is triplets, which is based on the same thing. The only difference is, is that we're going to take the E, the B, and the G. That's these three at the bottom. Mm -hmm. And we're going to pluck one, two, three. Oh, from the bottom. Yeah. One, two, three. Ah, oh, that's very good. Am I using the correct fingers? Right. I think a lot of you will see. Um, you'll either go like this, or like Kole is doing, mm -hmm. bring this thumb in. Mm -hmm. Now, what I find very handy is I rest this finger on the top string. Because now I'm not sitting trying to, you know, stab at it like a bird. Mm. Here, now I've got a level of control. So you use the... I use these two. Oh, okay. You can start with one until you get used to it. You can, I can just use the index finger. But I normally start with that one and... Oh. Is that what you do? What ever makes it easy for actually, you. Actually, this is easier. It's yeah, I find it best to start with this one and then move on the, to that. Huh? The, the middle finger for the bottom and then the index finger for the other two. That works, yeah. See, now, like if Kolei can do this, you guys, can, anybody can do this, I promise you. I feel like an expert, I just want to carry on. Okay, so let's try and... Well done, man. Thank you, I was waiting for that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> the things we do for a living. <laughs> right. So what you can do is try and get some expression into that. So There you go. So once you've got an expression, now guess what? Hey presto, all the same positions we have just used. You can mm -hmm. use them all. Oh, okay. So so let's start at the second dot, which will be two up from your first dot. Yeah, start on that one. Okay. This, yeah, on that one there. Sorry. 
There seems to be a dot. Is that a dot or is that just a mark on my guitar? No, that's just a mark on your guitar. <laughs> so you got to look after your guitar if you get confused. <laughs> this is a Walter's guitar. <laughs> <laughs> so two up from here. We're going to start on this one. Okay. There we go. And we're going to work our way backwards. So you can start off with a really beautiful sounding... You can so try resting your thumb on there if it's okay. not if it's not easy for you. Doesn't matter for now. I think uh, let me try resting the thumb because I was a bit uncomfortable what I was doing. Yeah, now. yeah. Let me try that. Um, rest the thumb. That's it. That's it. I think there could be, be easier ways for each person. There might be an easier yeah. way to do it. I still have to find what's going to be my easier way. Whether I do it this way, or I think that's going to be easier. That sounds better. So I use the index finger first, and then this middle one, and then index. So I rest my thumb. Oh, hang on. Index finger first. There you go. As long as you get that triplet sound coming through. Triplets is a fast waltz, isn't it? Say again? Triplets is just a fast waltz. Oh, I did not know that. So instead of going one, two, three, one, two, three, like we're ballroom dancing, it's, it's the one, two, three, one, two. It's the same thing as we oh, just do it. Oh, okay. So <coughs> I've still got to practice on that a lot, but as long as I know in my mind what I want to do. Um, no, Craig, what do you think of that? All right, let me... Fact, what yeah. do you think of that, that I rest my thumb? Sorry, I'm still a bit behind. That's if good. I raise my thumb and then I use my index finger, middle, then index. Yes. Would I then be able to get back with my index finger, middle, index? Um, or would you think that would be difficult? I actually start with the middle finger, okay. then I move on to my index finger, and then I use it twice. Okay, but let it's me have each a look for them. what you're doing. We're going. <laughs> okay. I just find it easier that these better. two run after each other, don't they? I think it's better because um, when you get here, it, you sort of want to have a, a finger free for the bottom. Yes, that's correct. Know? So you said that you're using your this finger. Middle finger and then the index finger. Oh, hang on. There you that's go. going to be it. Now that takes a little bit of practice. Yes. So we can actually start with an open string. Let me give you an idea of what you can play on this. Mm -hmm. Don't expect you to do it straight away, but just to give you an idea of what you can do. Now, you don't have to follow my exercises completely. You can make up your own things, which I think is actually the idea. Huh? I'm try. Sometimes <laughs> I'm walking down the street and I, and I hear somebody playing guitar and I can hear straight away, that's one of my students. <laughs> what I think is, uh, it's actually would be easier to make up your own tune, yeah. but if you have to play professionally for somebody and you have to follow notes, uh, that would take a lot of practicing. Yeah. So now we'll I get think to it's that. much easier to make up my own thing. That's going to work for me. Let me give you an idea, idea of what the triplets are going to sound like, because okay. we're not going to spend all day just on this. We want to get to the fun stuff. <laughs> okay, so here's an idea of what it can sound like. Bring I'm mind. getting confused. We start by the first. <laughs> so we got the first one, the second one, miss one, miss one. I think it's important to spend time, like you said, you, got, you have the right hand and the left hand. That's correct. Now the right hand shouldn't be knowing what the left hand's doing, and that's exactly the truth. That's why I got confused. Um, it's maybe important to just first get your strumming right, because now I was thinking of the strumming and all the different ways and that's going to take some time to practice and then i can focus on this so let yeah. me try again with my thumb leaning on the top there we go middle finger now i have my strumming right now i'm going to start with one two three in there start with this one or this one yeah don't use that one not this one uh, that one's good there you go There you go, and have a try somewhere else. Mm. 
That's good. Oh, I enjoy this so much. Huh? Somebody who doesn't know how to play, look at this. <laughs> look at this. Straight away, huh? Whew. Okay, so that was the first three exercises. We did the policeman. Where you can... Little trick with that. If you're taking these two, you can work it out for yourself. You can do ACDC. Oh, wow. Let's... Craig, I want to see you do ACDC. Let me put the guitar see, down. Off. On. So that I can focus on uh, what Craig is going to play now. Let's A simple on-off exercises. Hear that? Now I bring my little finger in. <laughs> this is nothing. Come to the show. <laughs> <laughs> we so there you've got ACDC. Over that. Sorry, my nose is running up. <laughs> Now, the way he actually does it, he doesn't do this. Obviously, he's a lot faster. He's got an electric guitar, and what he does is he just holds those strings down with his finger, and you'll see him on stage. He holds those, leaves that one open, and he goes... Oh! See that? And he doesn't actually pluck, if you watch him on stage. He doesn't go... It's all... So when you say tricks, it really is it tricks. It's a little bag of tricks. Um, I like to call it patterns, but, you know, it is actually tricks because I don't know who. Can you tell us, Craig, who actually figured all of this out? Because this is quite mathematical. It's quite interesting and it's quite um, intricate. And as simple as we like to say it, it can become, it is a pattern of mathematical. It is. It's mathematics. You know. It's that simple. That's what music is. Ah, but you know what? Everybody, just, just to run something by, and we're going we're gonna to swing back to this later. Everybody understands that music consists out of A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. Now, you have what we call sharps and flats, and those are the spaces in between. Now, that can make it a little bit confusing. So if you just remember two golden rules, very, very easy, E and F, and B and C, how oh, can you do that? <laughs> e and F and B and C mm. are married. Is, this is not a, some kind of swear word or something. Uh, no, <laughs> no, may the force be with you. No, no, that's Star Wars. Oh, the Trekkie fans would go mad Which if they saw Wars? me doing that. Uh, uh, Star Wars. Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. 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 Look, you are my father. <laughs> <laughs> <There you go>. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Multi if you... He's, he's, he's multi-talented. <laughs> <laughs> this might not make an awful lot of sense to you now, but it's something that, that Black Collet is saying. The musical side mostly consists of little Lego blocks of four. Mm. Okay, now that's the rhythm side. The actual musical side, you have to remember that E and F and B and C are married. Okay, because that is now going to influence your entire formula. So, basically, E. Okay. The next one straight up is an F because E and F are right next door to each other. You don't have to play this, okay. okay. So it's E, F, F sharp, G, does that make sense? What comes after G? It's not an H. Not H. It's not an H. A. Ah, <laughs> but you get an A flat, don't you? So you get a G, A flat, A, and it'll be either an A sharp or what do we call A? B, B flat. B flat. Then we go to B. Now remember, B and C are married. So B and C are right next door to each other. Okay. There'll be a D flat, a D, an E flat, and where it's an E. Okay. Okay, it doesn't have to make sense right now. It, it's, it's not, not necessary. <laughs> but if you just remember B and C and E and F are married, it's going to make life easier for you in the future. Don't ask me why you're going to have to remember this. I'll explain all later. Or your brain will figure it out eventually when you start <laughs> playing why you had to learn these little rules like everything. It is important. It is important. Okay. Give right. I think we do a summary of that was part okay. one. Sorry, man. Can I just... Yeah. Actually, I might as well run to the loop. No, that, <laughs> that was the summary of part is one. Is it? Yeah. Because I get a runny nose. 
Okay, <laughs> summary of part one. We'll be back. How's it coming?